With this video I'll show you how you get rid of hot pixels in your video from the Fuji W3. You need Avicent and Virtual Dub and FFmpeg as tools to be able to do this. Uh, I made a zip file containing all scripts that I used here. You can download them from my website. I unzipped the scripts under my documents. I'll open them here and the kill hot. And the first thing we want to do is find out exactly where the hot pixels are. We do that in directory find. Open find. You see a number of scripts. They are numbered and put your hot video with hot pixels in here named hot.avi. First thing we have to do is split it. So we run split.bat and we see we've got two extra videos there, hot L and hot R. Then we have to say on which video the hot pixels are, it's the left here. And we do a guess to the uh, horizontal displacement of the pixel. Save it, start up video, virtual dub, drag the procedure number 2A into virtual dub. You see a black horizontal line and the number that uh, gives your pixel number. And then it, we have to position the horizontal line just over the hot pixel. You can do it with your scroll wheel or with the buttons under the, under, uh, the picture. And there we see that at this position the hot pixel disappears. So note that one. 71 and now we are searching for the vertical displacement also in the left video we put in a guess of 330 noted guess also and drag it into virtual dub now you see a horizontal line and we have to position it over the hot pixel a little bit too far I think bit back there the hot pixel is almost disappeared there it is oh 23 note that number also now it's time for some arithmetic we guessed uh, the horizontal displacement on 750 we got an addition of 71 so the dot should be at 821 and for the vertical displacement, we guessed 330. We found an additional displacement of 23, resulting in a total displacement of 353. Well, we picked the second set of uh, files, AVS, and fill in the numbers there. This gives us a nice check to see whether we have done the measuring good. If we drag this into virtual dub, we should see that the horizontal or the vertical line for the X displacement is right on the hot spot. You can see it here. I can scroll a little to the right and then we see the hot spot appear again. So that's correct. And we do the same thing for this one. We fill in the found numbers A21. 353, save it and drag it again into virtual dub and see whether the horizontal line is dead on the spot and it is. This is a magnification. To see it, make sure you've got auto size panes uh, checked in virtual dub. Now we know the exact location of the spot, we can fix it, and we do that in folder fix, 
copy the faulty file to the fixed folder and edit dhot.avs. Oops, cool from a former fix. I have to delete it. Well, we put in the parameters left file here in this script. If there are more hotspots, we can put in another line here. Remember that a hash in front of the line is a remark line, it's not executed. Suppose that all the uh, hotspots were in the right video, then we can comment out these, these ones for the left and uncomment this one for the right and put in the location of the hotspot there. But this is for the, the left video, so we bring it back to comment and use just a dhot for one hot pixel. Save the file and double click for dhot.pat. And now the procedure is running to remove your hot pixel. When it finishes, you'll find a new video cool.avi that is a side by side video with the hot pixel removed. Show it here in virtual dub. And you can see that the hot pixel is gone away. Well, this fixes one file with a lot of work, but once we know where the uh, hot pixel is, we can uh, use these pictures for any number of files, put them in uh, directory ORI, sending for original files. I put in two videos from the W3 there, copy them and paste them. Mm -hmm. Have to wait a little bit. Then I navigate to the main folder there and start the batch file there to fix all files in the ORI folder. Well, this will take time because it copies all files one by one to the fix folder, renames them, uh, carries out the fix procedure and copies back the fixed file cool.av to the cool folder. So after this finishes you will find your fixed videos as side by side videos in the cool folder. So once you know the location of all the hot pixels you can easily fix any number of videos in this way. And this is made for 3D videos from the Fuji W3 camera. Maybe you can uh, change it yourself for other kind of 3D videos. Thank you.